You're watching CNA Heroes. Here's Lisa Sweet. Welcome to another edition of CNA Heroes. I'm Lisa Sweet, co-founder of the National Association of Healthcare Assistants. We really appreciate those of you who viewed these segments honoring selfless service and extraordinary CNAs. Often CNAs are taken for granted and they do so much to keep elders healthy and safe. This is no small feat, especially during a viral pandemic. So if you are a CNA, please know there are so many of us who recognize you, your hard work, your sacrifices, and you are very much appreciated on our minds and in our hearts. Now on to today's segment. Thank you to WRBL CBS affiliate out of Columbus, Georgia for initially reporting this story. I'm sure many people will be able to relate to this. Have you ever been driving alone in your car and you start getting sleepy before you arrive to your destination? You try to wake up, be more alert by rolling down the windows, turning on the air conditioning, playing the radio loud, slapping yourself even, maybe drinking caffeinated beverages. It's a miserable feeling and can be a dangerous one. This happened to Anton Barrett. He was traveling home on J.R. Allen Parkway towards Midland in Georgia when he started getting sleepy. And just like many of us in that situation, he turned the radio up to try to keep himself awake. However, as many of us know, that's a temporary fix and doesn't always work. Barrett said, before he knew it, he launched the car into an embankment. His vehicle crossed over one lane of traffic, across the grass median, and he says he believes he launched into the air, hit a tree, and then flipped. Barrett was injured and could barely move but he still managed to crawl out of the car in fear of it blowing up. He said, I basically spent the night on the outside of the car trying to get some help, just screaming for help. He says he spent Saturday night alone in the grass when he realized no one was coming. I spent all morning screaming for help. I think it was between 9.30 and 10 o'clock that I actually heard someone respond, he said. Enter CNA Jessica Howe. She was working at a nearby nursing care center in full personal protective gear, PPE, complete with gown, mask, and face shield. The work of CNAs is very physical and demanding. With the pandemic, it requires the full use of PPE, and a CNA can become hot and overheated easily. It's very cumbersome and hard work. Jessica had stepped out on the front porch of the nursing care center for a moment of silence and fresh air. Jessica states that she had gone out on the front porch when she heard someone screaming, help me, help me, someone please help me. So Jessica started walking up and down the sidewalk, trying to figure out where the screams for help were coming from. But she couldn't find it right away, so she called her coworker for backup. In comes Shaquante Everhart, CNA. Jessica and Shaquante tracked the calls for help to a wooded area nearby. However, a fence prevented them from seeing who actually needed the help and what kind of help they needed. They removed enough of the fence to get through and went into the woods following the screams. The crash location was not visible from the highway and Anton was so far down the steep embankment that passers-by would not have been able to see him. He was not visible from the road. Shaquante asked Barrett if anyone else was in the car with him and then proceeded to check him out to make sure that he was okay. She gave him her cell phone and the first person he called was his dad. 
Anton Barrett was left with broken bones, bruises, and a sore body, but extremely grateful to be alive and to be rescued by these two brave CNAs. Barrett's parents were so thankful that the CNAs helped their son from the wreckage that they delivered flowers and a card to their job. Jessica said, I didn't do it for the recognition, I just thank God. Jessica and Shaquante, you did not do what you did for the recognition, but you deserve it. Your daily work in the nursing care centers as CNAs should garner you the recognition in and of itself alone. That work is brave and heroic, especially during these difficult times. However, going above and beyond to help another outside of your job description is an act of compassion, love, and kindness. I hope that if I am ever in an emergency situation, I have a Jessica and Shaquante to help me. Everyone, please take a moment right now to share, recognize, and view these two incredible women, Jessica Howe and Shaquante Everhart, CNA Heroes.